everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Skyrim Modded. Now, a few things to say before I go ahead and start a new game. As the title suggests, there are mods. I'm going to be leaving a list of all the mods that I am using in the description, so that you can all go and check it out yourselves if any of the mods interest you. It has taken a long time for me to get this working. <laughs> a lot longer than I am willing to admit. Um, I'm also recording this at a... Well, I'm recording this, obviously. But I'm trying to encode the video uh, at uh, 1280 by 720p. Did I say 720p? It's 720p. I'm trying to record it at 60 frames a second, and I am using 12,000 bitrate in order to encode it. I don't know if that's good or that's bad or if it's fine, but I do want to get 60 frames per second. And if I if I can get 60 frames per second, that'd be amazing. But yeah, if any of you know anything about recording and encoding, please. Be sure to let me know down below whether or not 12,000 bits is okay. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I have the alternate start mod installed, so we're not going to be taking a look at the uh, opening intro for Skyrim. I think we've seen it enough to where people who have never played Skyrim before know what it looks like and know what it's all about. So hopefully uh, there won't be any need for it because even though I like the intro to Skyrim, um, I have Immersive Armors mod installed and so that means that the carriage that you're riding on will bounce, you know, indefinitely until the end of time. So, uh, who was our hero going to be? Are we going to be playing as a, a proud Nord warrior who feels like that he's been betrayed by the Empire? Or maybe an agent of the Thalmor who is trying to look for more information about Skyrim so that the Thalmor can have an even better edge? Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, we are going to be playing as a mage from Cyrodiil. Uh, we need a name for him. That we do. We need a name for an Imperial Mage. I'm thinking... I'm thinking Varelis. Varelius? Definitely Varelius. Now, Varelius was born outside of Skingrad, on a vineyard. And that is where Varelius would actually... would actually stay if not for the for the intervention of a member of the Synod Order who as we all know is basically what the Mages Guild became uh, after the events of the Oblivion Crisis and so he was discovered that he could be a potentially powerful mage and so and so good old Varelius here was taken in as an apprentice. Years later, um, he did not like the position that he was in. He was basically staying in the servants' quarters, cooking meals and cleaning around his instructor's, you know, home. And he did not learn a lot about magic he knows the theory but there hasn't been any practical you know applications of said theories and so good old Varelius here 
decided that it would be best if he takes matters into his own hands and steal away into his master's chambers and recover a couple of books. Uh, these books that he found contained the spells Flames and Healing. Now, he went and he was so excited that he learned these new spells that he decided that he would practice using them and thusly burned down his master's home. Whether it was an accident or not, he can't rightly remember. What he does remember is his master and a number of servants being trapped within the home as it burnt to the ground. And he also remembers and he also remembers getting on board a ship in order to sail out of uh, Cyrodiil just to get as far away from Cyrodiil as possible. Um, unfortunately, that ship crashed. <laughs> it wrecked off of the, uh, off the coast of Skyrim. And that is where we will find, uh, poor old Varelius, um, whenever we actually begin the game. You know, there is somewhere out there, there is someone out there who believes that someone is having a worse day than him. Uh, Varelius would like to find this person and vehemently disagree with them.